So we welcome you all to our new general mathematics topic, plane geometry. So that is about drawing geometry, drawings, angles. So we are going to start plane geometry. So we are on plane geometry one. So we are going to look at angle bodies of the straight lines. We remove to angle bodies of triangles, angle properties of quadrilaterals, polygons, then the geometry two. Or comprise of angle properties of circles, what we normally call circle theories. So we are starting with angle properties of parallax. But before we do that, we start from straight uh, types of angles, right? So everything here is about a straight line. That's why we have straight line angles here. When we go to geometry two, everything there is about circles. That's why we call them circle theories. So straight lines. That is what we are. You see, no no crooked lines here, right? Straight lines. So the types of angles. We have acute angle. It's an angle less than 90 degrees. Right angle is an angle equal to 90. Obtuse. It's greater than 90, but less than 180. Straight line angle is equal to 180. Reflex angle greater than 180, but less than 360. Adjacent angles on the straight line. What do we mean by adjacent? A, B, C, C, adjacent side by side. That's adjacent. But if you happen to be in front of me, it's not adjacent. It's opposite, right? So adjacent angles of the straight line A, B, C will be equal to 180. So angles around a point. There's a point here. And around this particular point, everything is still there, right? So to put all the angles around that point together, you guess what? 360. Now vertical opposite angles. A is vertical. A is horizontal. Now this thing can be turned. A is vertical. A is horizontal. You can also turn it like this, you still get the same vertical horizontal again, yeah, vertical again, right? So vertical opposite angles are equal. So if here is 30, here is also what? 30. If here is 40, here is also what? 40, right? Good. You will be applying all this in the works that we've been doing. Okay. Application. Find the values of the lettered angles in the following diagrams. I have something like this. So, I would like to find the value of a lettered angle. So I can just see that there is angles around the point. Do you see that? So I put them together. That is angles around the point. Uh, I give a reason so that when you are doing revision, it's very easy for you to understand, right? Sometimes students may wonder why we are doing that. Now the reason should guide you, okay? Good. We have A plus 100 plus 120 plus 20 for 360. Why? Because there are angles around what a particular point. If there is a gap here, you cannot call it angles around a point. There's a gap here. Are you okay? Unless all those gaps are closed. So we have A plus 1, 240 equals 360. So A equals 360 minus 240. A is 120. Now, what is A? Good. That's the reason. So when you are popping, popping the reasons to do guide you. You want to ask why? That's the reason. Let's go with the angles are equal. And the next one. There is also angles around the point. Three sixty. So I have two x plus thirty plus x plus thirty is equal to three sixty. Next and next is three x. Agreed. Now this fourth minus ten, you get what? Ten. Are you okay? Good. So you have seven x equals what? Three sixty minus ten. Seven x equals what? Three fifty. Seven. Seven. X is what? Okay. That's it. is one of the easiest mathematics. properties of parallel lines. Angle properties of parallel lines. Now these are parallel lines. Good. Equal lines. That's the meaning. Now let's look at them well. All the problems start here. Once you are able to get all the angles here, you can get everything. It's the same thing that we see every day. Just that the same drawing Put a circle around it, or they put a triangle around it, right? With the same straight lines. So let's do. The straight line EF is called transversal. 
It's cast two parallel lines. The straight line here is called a transversal because it cast two parallel lines. That is all. Good. Now you focus here. Let's go. The pair of angles C and F. Cast your eye to C and F. Let's go. Can you see that? The pair of angles C and F. Can you see C and F? The pair of angle C and F. You see, C is under this parallel line and F is on top of this parallel line. But there's a road crossing. And you can see they are on opposite sides of the road, right? They are on different sides of the road. Different sides of the road. So under a line, top of a line, under top are alternating. So that is how to identify alternating angle, especially when you're telling that some lines are parallel. E and E, under a line, on top of a line, are also alternating. If you cannot see this, we can't proceed. That is where the trouble starts. So D e and B e are alternating. C and F are also alternating. Alternating angles are equal. So in exams, if here is 20, here are going to be 20. If here 40, here you also be 40. And that is case one. Close. Good. So how do we identify alternating? Under top, under top, different size of the room. Are you okay? Good. Now we have something we call matching. In geometric terms, congruent. English, correspondent. Now, a boy corresponds to a boy and a girl corresponds to a girl. A head corresponds to a head, not a head to a nose. So let's go. Top, top. Do you believe this? Top of a line. Top of a line. Top, top, same side of the road. Are they not matching? Are they not corresponding? So we call them matching, congruent, or corresponding angles. Down, down, same side. Is it corresponding? Yes. Top, top, same side. Down, down, same side. Corresponding. Wow. So easy. A and E, top, top, same side. C and G, down, down, same side. It's also corresponding. Are you okay? Corresponding angles are equal. If here is 24, here is also 24. So what's something? C and F are alternating, right? Is C and H alternating? No. Alternating is under top. Not under, under opposite sides. Oh, very good. So look at them very well, right? Now the pair of angle P e and C. Now this interior of this hall. Anything you see in the hall here constitutes what we call the interior. So this one, the bulb, and the notice board here are co partners in this hall. So co interior co-interior. Now my co-partner is the interior. Now let's see. E and C are co-interior. Yes, they are co-interior angles. And they are supplementary, meaning they add up to 180. So co-interior angles add up to 180. So if I know here to be 28, 28 plus C equals 180, then C will come. D e and F are also co-interior, okay? Now what's something? It is as if C and E are co but they are not corresponding because corresponding should be top top down down right? But the C and E here means to be down top. You see, along the same side of the road are corresponding entities, which are top top down down. But there is also the same side of the road, but it is down top. So co interior angles are closer to corresponding in a sense, but they are not corresponding. Are you okay? You see this important I'm talking about? That is a problem. That is a problem with plane geometry. Get this and see whether there is a topic called plane geometry. Um, okay, I'll put my first question here. Let's play with some angles. Let's go. Now let's go. 
So this is the same thing. A very simple drawing. You can make it complex by putting a tangent around it, drawing another line, and putting it into complex. Hey, what kind of work is this thing? They all contain straight lines. When you see a, a question like this, the first thing for you to do is to target the tickets. Ask yourself. The position of this force, does it alternate? Does it correspond? Does it vertical opposite? Does it straight angle? Does it angle around a point? What does it do? Once you ask those questions, the answers will come. Then you have free. Look at it. So look at this one. See whether it is in a relationship with any of these. Let's go. Which one? 40 and what? Are hot? That's all. You see, once you can identify this, that is, that is all. 40, B and 40 are alternate angles, right? So this implies B is what? 40 degrees. That's all. What again have you seen? Once you release one alphabet, that is all. They all release. That is the nature of plane geometry. If you just release one angle, everything will just follow up. A and 40 are out. Top, top, same side. Wonderful. A is 40, right? Correspondent. I don't like this C. I can just say C is straight angle, right? Straight line angles. I mean, not equal to 180. C and A are straight line angles, right? They are equal to what? 180. So C plus 40 equals what? 180. C equals 180 minus what? 40. C equals what? 40. Now, so that is C, right? Okay. Do you, do you also know that you can say B and A are vertical opposites? B and A are they not vertical opposites? So if B is B is 40, A is also 40. No wonder we have 40, 40. So this is our checks in exams. If A is 40 and A is not ah. Okay. And you, you check for certainty, right? Okay, that's it. Is that something again that you can see? Okay, that's it. You can even project something here and find something if you want to. Then when you get something here, something here and this can also be called interior. That is it. Okay. And that's one is yours where you are getting angles for me. I can't really check.